so today we're going to talk about uh, spot trading and the first thing you do once you open your binance app is just to tap on the spot uh sorry the trade uh tab at the bottom and once you tap on the trade up uh, right now you can see my available balance i have over 700 bucks and that's quite okay so uh it doesn't matter uh, the amount you have in your account uh you can always uh start spot trading with as low as 50 dollars or uh, hundred dollars it doesn't matter you can do what uh, you don't have right so uh you're in the spot as you can see from the top there is convert spot margin fiat and p2p so we're in the spot trade right now um the yeah, best thing we can do is let's say we have a signal or uh, let's say to buy uh, eng so we can just go straight forward and tap on this uh btc slash usdt we'll tap on it Let's say we want to buy ENG. Uh, we tap on ENG. Uh, the fact that I have balance of USDT, so I will be buying uh, ENG with USDT. So I'll just tap on ENG. Uh, sorry, I hold it. So I'll tap on ENG slash USDT. Um, I'll wait. So right away, uh, ENG slash USDT. Uh, it depends on the uh, signal you get, uh, whatever the signal it is. If it is in Satoshi, that's me. You're going to select BTC pay. If it is in uh, USDT, you're going to select USDT pay. But whenever you tap on the name of the coin, you can see all the pairs that is so you can see here. There's USDT, BSD, BNB, BTC, Ethereum, BRL, Europe, and Great British Pound. Oh, that's good. So we select our uh, USDT because that's the one that we have a balance with it. Our, our money is in USDT, so. We're going to be using USDT for our transaction or our trading. So uh, let's say I got a price that I should buy. Everything in spot trading is is the same as future trading. It's just that our uh, future trading is like advanced spot trading with the leverage and other things. Even though we, uh, with time we are going to talk about spot trading with leverage. Um, that's uh, something down and something up. We talk about those uh things in the future but for now let's just focus on spot trading so uh, i want to buy uh eng and i have got the price to buy eng at the rate of uh let's say 470 sorry 1.147 uh that's the same price as the market so i'll just enter it in that particular price for seven zero that's one point one four seven zero uh so i'll just i'll just put on um how many or how much i want to invest in this particular coin let's see i'll just come down to here to total usdt i'll just say uh i want to put a uh, hundred bucks your hundred bucks so when i put hundred bucks there automatically it show me the amount of uh eng i'm going to go around 87.1 that's great it's okay by me so i'll just tap on buy uh buy eng and the fact that we wasted some time trying to explain this the market have already moved up from uh one one point one four seven zero to almost one point one four eight something so what we just do we just give it a little some time um and say if it's going to purchase or i can slightly say okay i can just buy in the market price which is going to be kind of a little huge for me but let me see it's almost the same but i'm losing a small portion of our uh, eng but that's okay by the way so i'll just press on buy the market is actually coming down but for the purpose of this tutorial we just have to speed up everything so i just press on buy and <coughs> Here we go. So, the both of them have bought it. That's crazy. Oh, I think one is only one that bought. Yeah, it's only one that bought because my balance still remain uh six hundred bucks. So we we'll just tap on sell here. Here's the amount of uh, ENG that we have. It actually reduced from the original uh, amount that we have because the fee, the exchanges, they always take some certain amount of money as fees. 
uh, that's what they use uh, to maintain the exchanges and all the other things that they are working on and that's where they make their own profit also so uh, right now we already buy ENG and we don't know uh, uh, we don't know when the market is going up or down but since we already bought it we know our selling uh, signal or let me see our selling price Let's see our selling price is 1.20 bucks 1.20 say rather so i'll just say 1.2 i write it here it automatically show 1.20 so i'll now say 100 percent of eng so looking from this if we sold our eng at 1.2 or let me say 1.20 cent we are going to make a profit of 40 uh sorry four dollars that's quite okay that's like nearly five percent of our investment it's, it's it's really great because like um if this can be able to sell for us within one day or three days it doesn't matter the limit of the time frame that we're going to get this to be sold anyway we just go and hit our selling we hit it right now we have an open order you can see here from the open order eng or uh, when to sell amount of 87 eng and the price when to sell is 1.20 Oh, that's great uh the last thing to pay attention to is that the price we are putting here is a limit price so this thing going to stay in the limit order until the market have reached this uh, particular price then it's going to sell it for us automatically so we don't need to be checking this it's not really important it's irrelevant uh, because whenever the market hit that a uh, certain amount of 1.20 cent it will be sold automatically and another thing is that we switch from the buy to sell because we want to sell so whenever you want to buy you switch to the buy tab there is a buy tab here at the top there is a sell side here at the top so after you buy it you tap on the sell side and you put all the information you want to put and you sell it uh there is also a stop loss or let me say stop limit i don't really use it but in some cases when I'm explaining about uh, risk management and, and risk management in sports, I will go and explain about markets, uh, stop, and the rest of these things that are there. But for now, we're going to be using limit. That's what I've been using for almost a year or more. I I feel it's better. I don't really care about the rest. We're in the bull market, and the bull market is still up. I'm not really sure it's ending because even if the Bitcoin drop, no matter what level it drop altcoin are still going to pump in one or another way so back to the buy uh tab in eng in the buy tab there is sometimes that you can just get a price and say okay you buy this thing at uh, at maybe 1.1 so if it's 1.1 you tap on 1.1 and you put uh, amount of dollars you want to invest let's say 100 dollars and you tap on buy and when you tap on it it's going here you know sell is is showing the red limit slash sell and the buy is always green by is showing limit slash buy so uh, this is more like a putting a limit order when the price drop to a certain price it will buy it for you automatically so that's all for spot trading it's not really something hard it's simple and when you're buying things with uh, btc pa the only thing you need to know or you need to pay attention to if you have usdt and you want to buy something with BTC Pay. Uh, in our Discord, we don't really drop uh, things about BTC Pay. We don't really trade with BTC unless if the token is only available in BTC. So if uh, you happen to be in such situation, the best thing to do is to tap on here and you have to type BTC slash USDT. So when you tap BTC, you find the one with USDT, you tap it. And when you tap it, here you're going to buy some portion amount of BTC. So let's say uh, I want to buy like uh, 50 bucks BTC. So that's the amount of BTC I'm going to get 0 0.001538. That's cool. And I'm going to buy at the rate of uh, 32,500. Uh, I think yeah, 32,500. So uh, this is the market uh, on this side, the other books. You can see the market price of BTC is automatically dropping. So I can just tap on anyone here. I get a little discount here. So the price always fluctuating either going up or down sometimes in the sideways so it doesn't matter so i just stop and buy and i'll buy it automatically it bought it because 
I put a higher price, you know. And a lot of people want to say in that price that I put. So I'm going to a pair. Let's say we look at the pair that have only BTC pair. So uh looking into something like a uh, Neo. Oh uh, okay, uh let me see. F T S no. What token is it in about the wind banners? Okay, good. Let me just type BTC pair. So after BTC and um, I'll just say don't so I'll scroll down to see all the coins that have BTC PA. So I'll look at something like AST. So ST is a good coin. I really love this coin for a very very long time. So I'll just tap on it. Uh beside AST have only BTC PA in Binance. So it's only BTC, it doesn't have any USDT on it. So you must have BTC in order to purchase this token. So for for that we have no choice but to buy bitcoin we have to first buy bitcoin after we bought the bitcoin then we'll come back here with such a token uh we see the token name i'll select btc pay that's slash btc so now that we're in est okay depend on the price they give us uh, for us to buy they will give you a uh, price in satoshi it doesn't matter what price they give it to us so we just put up the price here so they say buy in the market price so this is the market price there's no need for us to put anything so we can just select 100% of our account 100% of our account is going to give us around 400 pieces of 407 pieces of uh, AST and this outcome balance 0 0.00153 so we just tap on buy and boom we'll buy it now we already bought it because like we select the micro price and the micro price is the price that everybody wants to sell so whenever we want to sell we'll come back here we select here and we put the price that they tell us to sell maybe it's 04 so if it's 04 we put it like this and you see we get an uh, increment before we use 0 0.00158 to buy it now we are trying to make a certain amount of profit around 0 0.0162 so like we get a little profit i can't be able to calculate it right now because it's a satoshi and it's kind of complex to calculate but other than that we still make profit you know the amount we invested and you see the amount we're trying to sell off so you can just hit on the selling order and you wait for it so right now we have like two open orders one for est slash btc and the other one is eng usdt you can see by the name ast btc ENG USDT. So that's all guys for spot. Spot trading is not really complicated. It's not hard. It's very simple as the if you have any question please always drop down in the YouTube comment. I will always try my best to answer it. Or you can go to our Discord and you drop your comment and I'll be very very more than happy to help you in that.